Let me invite um, the managing director of uh, Isuzu, East Africa. And she holds many other designations. Let me not get into them at this stage. But Rita, please come to the floor. Thank you so much. It's difficult to continue after we have received the word of God. But uh, it's indeed a very difficult time for many of us who had the privilege of uh, uh, working for many years with Chris as an, an executive director of Centum, which is a shareholder of Isuzu East Africa. Dr. Kirubi demonstrated uh, a great deal of interest and passion to support our business. He participated in significant moments of our, of our business when we called upon him to do so. And one such memorable moment was when the former president of Tanzania, uh, Jakaya Kikwete, in October of 2015, he visited our plant as we tried to export our products into the a regional market and it was very interesting because Chris saw beyond what we were trying to do and he wanted to connect with the people of Tanzania in a more significant way and in very very spontaneous way he decided to contribute a mobile clinic that was going to be given to a clinic or a hospital of choice uh, for the president who was just also about to retire. It was really interesting that he could quickly see the opportunity for us to connect through social support. And that created a very good relationship and the challenges that we were encountering are no longer an issue. There were also very other important moments like when we were transitioning uh, from Gender Motors to Isuzu. He was there. He kind of knew those difficult moments or those interesting moments where he needed to come in and participate to support us. So we celebrate his life just like the others that I've said. But to me personally, as the CEO, of course, Moria was uh, the director and, and Fred, but because he was always eager, friendly, I always called on him when I had a difficult moment, a different transaction to execute. I would ask him for advice. And he will always give that advice and even more. He loved work, hardworking people. I remember Grace, uh, Mrs. Mashere didn't say this, but I saw it in her tribute that when we were in Miami, uh, where Mori had uh, invited group companies to enjoy and know each other even better. He singled us out, me and Grace. I remember uh, he called us and said, you come here, you ladies. So we went and he said, these women, these are great women. These are very, very hardworking women. I'm very, very proud of them. And as the pastor said, he always picked the call. You know, he's a busy man. He's, he's doing many things, but he will always remember to pick the call, and he will call, and if you don't call him for a while, he would call you and say, hey, what's happening? You no longer call me these days. What's happening? How is the business? How can I help? Really, really great man that we are missing as a business, and uh, for me, he was that great man that always remembered to lift others up if there was any appointment for us, for instance, if I got an appointment as a board member or whatever, he wrote a letter himself, not WhatsApp, 
wrote a letter from his office, signed, and have that letter delivered. Very precious. So we will miss him. And I say, Pole, uh, to all of you, and let's work, let's enjoy, and let's seek. Thank you.